I am so nervous that this video is not going to work very well for a number of reasons. Hey fellow Reading Warriors and welcome to today's video. I am super excited because here's what happened. I was scrolling through Instagram and I was seeing, you know, all these reels from other people on their book talk and I and I don't have TikTok because I knew that if I got it, I would go down that rabbit hole and I would accomplish nothing else in life. But I just kept watching them and watching them until one day my husband turns to me and he goes, just get a TikTok already. And I went, okay. So I have downloaded TikTok onto my phone. The only time I have opened it is to create an account. But other than that, I have not looked at any TikToks, especially not any book talks since. So this video, if it works, <laughs> is going to be a video of me kind of reacting to things on book talk. I had seen other uh booktubers do this video and I thought it was so much fun but then at the same time I was like oh I shouldn't watch this video because I want to do something like it so I shouldn't see anything on here but yeah so we will see if my computer soft editing software will allow me to put a little video in the corner here uh, to make it easier to like watch these videos and see my reaction right alongside if that doesn't work then i may have to just kind of do the video that i watched and then my reaction but um you know we will see i'm going to try so hard to make this work so let's see what happened also like i said i had seen uh, another booktuber do this Brittany the bibliophile did it and i'll have her link in the description below but while you're down there give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell i post once a week on thursdays if you wanna think it'd be fun comment down below if you're on uh book talk because I would love to follow you because now now that I have the social media I have I don't know how to follow people so drop it down below I'll get to you okay here we go here we go a bookworm tells you what's actually worth it on her shelves <laughs> Most Broke my heart a million different ways. Yes, this was fine. Anticlimactic ending. Kind of predictable. Criminally underrated OMFG. The best long call vacation each ray. So funny. I'd rather live through the events of Saul than read this ever again. So poignantly beautiful and honest. Marry me sugar. The most bizarre book ever. Sorry, but no. There should be a law that everyone must read this. Completely devastating, but a true masterpiece. The importance of friendship and family. Most of it should be worth it. I mean, okay, so theoretically, everything on your shelf should be worth it, in my opinion. If there's a book on my shelf that's not worth it, it better have a really pretty cover. I got three looks, and that's it. She got and that's all I know how to do. Um, also... Fantasy smut and the fall porn should just be the same. Maybe I'm too emotional, but maybe you never get it all. I don't know any of those books, which is great, new recommendations, but at the same time, I know nothing. I think that's the one thing I'm going to have a hard time about book talk or appreciate about book talk is that Either they're not going to give me descriptions, and then I'm going to have no idea if I actually care to read any of these, or they're going to give me those one-sentence ones, and it's either going to capture me or it's not, which I think is going to be very efficient. And if it can just capture me, then I know that I'm going to have a lot of positive feelings going towards it, going into it, but I won't feel like spoiled for anything. Like. I feel like when we give descriptions of books here on booktube, and I do this myself because other people do it, but I feel like you're always describing the first hundred 
pages of the book. Like when you give a summary, you just describe everything that happens for the first 100, 150 pages of the book. Whereas that's not gonna hop. That's not going to happen on here, and that's kind of appreciative. All right, let's see what else I got. Books I will never suffer. What if we Say you to be mine. Yeah. No, that's something that's very relatable. Especially red, white, and royal blue for me, as you all know. Maybe I should make that my version of that book talk. Because uh, I tend to be very repetitive in a lot of my recommendations, but that's because I like to look at my shelf for my recommendations, and I don't have that many. And also, there are a lot of books on my shelf that I still need to read, so it's like, I'm very limited in what I have to pull out of my back pocket to recommend. <laughs> that always happens to me for a couple of different reasons. Either, yes, I just forget everything because, like, there's so much, and I'm like, I do that. Or it depends on the person I'm talking to. If I think that they will, I still very much fall into the, if I tell you about how much fantasy I read, will you view me differently? How do I tell you what I'm reading in a non-judgmental way? This is fun though. I, I'm liking book talk and I definitely think I'm gonna waste majority of my life on here. Can you please help me reach Book Talk? Because my local Barnes and Noble has this amazing Book Talk Made Me Read It section, and my new dream is to go get my book, which is all the way over in the back in the science section, and get it onto that Book Talk shelf. Please help me take that. That I have seen that on the um, in Barnes and Noble as well. The Book Talk Book Talk Made Me Read It section. A lot of those books I know because they are very popular, also on other platforms, or I just know of them, but. Yeah, we'll see. I've, I've read some of them, but not all of them. See, that, that excites me. That excites me a lot because I, <laughs> when you see books on here that you've already read and the person like agrees with you, that's just another level of self-affirmment. Um, yeah, I think one thing I'm really appreciating, appreciating about book talk so far is just the amount of, uh, well, just it's music combined with books. I mean, a lot of it is kind of like repetitive or like there are sound bits that you can recognize, but like. I don't know, for my brain, having something on in the background when I'm trying to look at stuff, it's so helpful because the amount of times I'll want to like watch a booktube video, but then like be listening to something else, but that doesn't really work. So I am appreciating this quite a bit. I don't know if I should just keep scrolling through the these top uh book talk videos on book talk i think i'll do a couple more and then i'll see if i can't like find other ones i guess I feel like for some of these, like that one, you it's a lot of small print to read very quickly, but I, I, I like it. I also am just so interested in like how to make your book talk videos. Um, so that might also be another video idea is going through and filming the process of what it's like to make a book talk video. Probably not until I get the handle of things, but uh. Let's go book talk fantasy, cause I read a lot of fantasy more than anything else. So I've gone there. Talking about, talking about Tracy? Oh my gosh. No, 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 I mean, like, like Tracy with that? Tracy with the, with the Honda? Shit, well. Oops, baby, fuck up your bitch like, oopsie daisy, never knew that was your boo, baby, never had time in a coupe, say, oopsie daisy. Okay, first off, I love that YouTuber, that booktuber, uh, Princess of Paperback. I definitely am gonna need to follow her. How do I do that? 
Ah, that's how you do it. Great. Um, but I feel like another issue I'm going to have with BookTok is that I'm going to go through and watch like a recommendations video and there are going to be like three books in there that look interesting that I want to look into. But by the end of it, I'm not going to remember what they're called and I don't have time to like write them down to look them up on Goodreads. So I feel like that's going to be, um, that's probably going to be the struggle. But there are some books on here that I, I agree with. So yeah, I think I would like to do some more like comedy based ones and then I think I will call it for this video. Let's see if that search works. Properly break in a book. First you take it, note of its beautiful binding, and hold it as you would a dove. Then you gently spread apart its wings, and then you snap its neck! Like, I knew it was coming, but... I'm not one who breaks my books. Caroline. Caroline! <laughs> my life just flashed before my eyes. I've been in this chair a lot. Not the books you asked for. I asked for book recommendations, not your entire library. This is like three books! Two, four, six... Okay, okay, what are you, a mathematician? I can just pick a couple. Okay, well, thank you. You just put them down over there. I'll check them out later. I think you really like these. Was there something else? Do you have like a, like a time you're gonna look at them? Or... Do you need them back soon? No, 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 just wondering. <laughs> uh, I don't know, later. Okay, so uh, let me know which one you pick, and uh, text me every time you finish a chapter. Or every time you finish a page. Maybe like every few paragraphs, you can just like, no, that's too much, that's too much. Every page is fine. Yeah, let me just read you a few of the summaries. Yeah, I felt like that was coming. That one, I feel like, is relatable because as soon as... Well, I don't have a lot of friends who like to read books a lot. Um, so I feel like, yeah, every time I am finding a, a book to recommend to someone, I always get very overexcited and I want to explain to them everything to make them want to read it. So that, that's relatable. I'm hoping a lot of stuff on here will be relatable because like that's why I joined the book community online in the first place. If you feel like you need a little bit of company, you met me at the perfect time. You want me. That's so true. Every time I read a book written by a man that has a female main character or major characters. They're always terrible. They always fall flat. I always have issues with them. I just, I have no problem with like male authors in general because yeah, they, they'll, they write good books, but if a lot of times they write bad female characters and it's, it annoys me. It really does. Like, why are men so afraid to figure out women so that they can write them in a book properly? It just, like, I'm looking at my bookshelf and I'm looking at one book in specific that I'm like, I remember reading that, written by a man, female main character, irked me the entire time. I even, I'm even thinking of multiple books now. This is driving me nuts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I also feel like there's so much Sarah J Mass on here and I don't understand any of it because I read uh, Throne of Glass and never picked up a Sarah J Mass book ever again. So I feel like that's another struggle is that like especially with like the comedy it's I just I think I'll stop there for today though. I hope you enjoyed this I will definitely be playing around more on book talk but again please comment down below your book talk handles if you have them I would love to find you and follow you um, I do hope to make book talk videos soon I just gotta kind of figure out when to do it and how I want to do them uh, but yeah stick around for that obviously my handle of course is a reading warrior that's what it is for everything um, so yeah, there you go. Like this video if you actually liked it. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to get notifications. I post every week. Um, but yeah, not only will my book talk handle be down below, but also my Instagram and Twitter and Goodreads. That's all down below. That's always down below in every video. I just never say it though. But it's there if you want to follow me on my other reading adventures or get more specific updates on my reading. Um, but yeah, until I see you all in the next video, I wish you a happy reading.